campaign, and that's basically what they aim to do, and they do a great job at it. Instead of, like I said, they focus very much onto that, so this is going to be a kind of a different series. Almost every episode, instead of me ending off on some random little tangent where, um, excuse me guys, I'm going to have to be right back. Okay guys, yeah, sorry, I had to get my phone here so I could get my stopwatch so then I could actually record these episodes so then they're actually evenly linked. Although, I'm not sure how well I'll be able to keep evenly linked episodes of Rome Toad War 2 because what well, I'm going to try to provide you guys each episode because this is, because I'll be honest, the only reason why you guys like to see this game is not before its overall beauty and its, its cool like map mode. I mean, this is a pretty cool map. Um, I equivalent it to thinking it's slightly better than the territorial map of, um, Paradox Games, but the main thing everyone comes for in these types of games is to see the gigantic epic battles, okay? We all, I'll, I'll be honest with you, the only reason why you should play this game is for the epic battles. If you're looking for the campaign, you really got the wrong game. This game specializes in the campaign, the in-depth battles, the in-depth strategies, the in-depth stuff that you are supposed to know, so. Without that, though, there still isn't like economic base and stuff like that. You still have to do like uh, managing cities and all that kind of stuff. But it's it's a much it's a much smaller scale than Paradox. I mean, people that will look at this and be like, "Dang, this is a much smaller scale." All right, I'm going to create a fishing port because I'm going to need fishing in that village, in that city of Liberium. So let before I start, also, I'm going to take a big gigantic look around my empire, so everyone can see what we have. So we have some troops over here. A decently sized army, not the best ever, and we have our enemies over here, the Kubal, the K oh, the Kubal, the enemy providence and the arrows, okay, whatever, that's just actually not important, the, the Tudetii, I'm recording, the Tudetii, and it's quite crucial that we attack these guys as soon as possible, oh, oh, another thing I should also mention is that, one second, Okay, guys, back again, back to my epic speech. So, yeah, we are back. We are going to be, I think one of our first motivations is to attack the, the little city-state of Kabuda. Oh, and just so word of notice, everyone, I will be pronouncing a lot of these names wrong. Unless they are common names that we use in ancient, in ancient Greek, G Roman, or, or basically anywhere between 500 A.D., and beyond, I'll probably be pronouncing them wrong. Because a lot of these names are very hard to pronounce, and if you try pronouncing them on your own time without trying to use Google Translate or using Google um, Say, you will have a definite hard time. So, yeah. Anyways, just a word to notice, I'm very sorry for if I pronounce the names wrong. Just so you guys know. So anyways, what I'm going to be doing, guys, is I'm going to be building... I can't build a dog shit, dang it. I'm going to be increasing... Wait, do I want to be increasing or do I want to be... Uh, slave... I feel like I get very. Uh, I'm. Uh, dang it. Okay, I'm going to try to be. Okay, for my economy, I'm going to be trying to avoid the slave market. But when it comes to prisoners of war, I'm not going to be as generous. So I'm just going to keep upgrading some of my cities. Um, keep looking around the map, and first thing we should also do is also move our, our fleet closer to our bay area. Because I mean, this is kind of a part of us. But this is kind of the like city or colony that we don't really care about at this moment. I mean, it's so far away that we don't really care. It's usually out of danger too for most attacks, so yeah, alright. We want to also start increasing some of our land, so I'm going to be increasing Carthage, because Carthage is supposed to be it's supposed to be, in essence, Rome too. Or it's supposed to be mightier than Rome, because we want to make Rome the better Rome. The Rome that Rome never became. So, in a sense, we want to become Constantinople. But, yeah. Anyways, what we're also what we're going to do is we're going to start spying on our next door neighbors of Syracuse because one of the also things besides attacking over here in Spain is I want to control this entire map. I want to make sure that we own it, we, we have good control of it, and we can kick our neighbors, the Romans, out without much hesitation. The thing we're going to have to do with that, though, is that we're going to have to gain control over a lot of this area, and to start with, we have to start gaining control of all of this. So I'm going to start looking at the garrison, a moderately sized garrison, um, we just sent some troops in right now, we could probably go deal with it, so, oh, that's what I'll do, I'll go send, once these guys get back, I'll go send these guys to go group up with these guys, and over here I'll be recruiting new units, so Liberian Hoplite should be enough, 
yeah. So my billion hoplites should be enough for this attack, and is there anything else I'm forgetting? Oh yeah, technology. Technology finance. So guys, um, just like in Paradox games, um, technology is in this game, but it's a much, it's a little bit more emphasized in this game. Like technology has a much bigger meaning than Paradox games, because in Paradox games, technology is just like, oh, I have a slight advantage over everyone else. Yep, that's great. That's great. In this, it's much more of kind of a Let's see. Ludicrous tax speed! No. Let's get back to medium. I want to be making about what I was making. Okay. Magna Carta. Lowest public turn, Magna Carta. And this is why I'm building a fishing wharf. I might also have to build a Hellenist village to quell rebellions. But yeah, it's a much more, like I said, it's much more centered around cities and stuff. Not really so much centered on the overall provinces, much more centered on like cities and importances of cities. Alright, so first thing I'm going to try to do is try to secure some trade trade relationships with a couple other people. The Etruscan League, Etruscan League, which was actually the precursor to the Roman Empire, or the Roman Republic, is under attack by the Romans. Who would have known? Well, we don't really care about that. We are trying to look for. Okay, so the Etruscan League is pretty good with us. How long do I think they're going to last? Not very long. But what I'm going to try to do is before Welcome, they all die in a horrible... In a horrible, uh... Let us break bread and drink ale before words pass our lips. Well, thank you, dude. I'll drink ale with you anytime. As long as you accept my peace treaty, which I will be adding... I'll be giving you guys... If you guys allow this, I'll allow you guys military access. Only my side... Oh, wait, I can't do it on both sides. Okay, defensive alliance are sworn to protect each other if war is declared. It's useful for a friendly terms of the faction being... Okay, no, you guys would not like that. I know they would not like break trade agreement with. Okay, no, 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 make client state. Offer to make a client state. I should try that at some point. Just like as someone. Oh, client theory states, whatever. Okay, so yes, let's see. Will they accept the trade agreement? I will not. We are pretty much. We are pretty much even. This power shows how strong you. That's the other faction red. Okay, well, we're about evenly powered, so will you guys accept a trade agreement from us? We're not we're not trying to be threatening or anything. We just want to know if you guys would casually accept a trade agreement. So, please, accept. Yes! Okay, with that trade agreement, we can now do much more trading and doing much more stuff in the future. Let's see if we can also get another trade route Greetings. going. We um, are civilized folk, you. so you may speak as you wish, and we will give you an honest answer. We are civil. Well, you Greeks are so pathetic in your marks of civilization. You're so, you're so high standards of snoobiness that you think that we, that civilized means this. Civilized is a different word, a different tongue, and a different thing. Why should, why should we have to? Uh, I hate you. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. I can only. I can only feel like I'm going to be not very kind to the Greeks once I get around to it. All right. Well, I'm not gonna. Seems like we already have a. Do we already have a trade agreement with these Let guys? Let us take a friendship that has been and friendship to come. Greetings. Now, let us seek wisdom uh, together. Uh, actually, we could keep this. Okay. Seems like I only have a limited amount of trading. Trading, which is also true in this game, is that it does limit you in some aspects. But it's pretty much good, so yeah. Well, okay. How now that I build good enough of this, I'm gonna start building up this army's. Ah, oh, dang, I can't. Oh shoot, we're out of money. Dang, that means it's time to end the turn, everyone. The first. Now that we've done all the setting up stuff, the game should go a little bit quicker. And yeah. Okay, guys. You ready? We all ready to start the journey? Let's begin. Yeah. And there's Rome with its cool Roman stuff, doing cool Roman stuff. They, they are paddling quite quickly. Those guys are extremely good paddlers. I mean, they just cleared an entire ocean in one year. Great paddlers, everyone. Great paddlers. And apparently, Akela is expanding its city. Good sign. Good sign right there. My vassals over here are just... They're doing basically nothing. I, I really wish that they did not, in, in a kind of sense, I really wish they did not start as my vassals. Okay, am I getting, well done, a new unit caught it needs strong defenses, your actions are wise. Well, thank you, dudes. Uh, okay, so the quartering act, the court, the court master report, okay, these are just my recruitments in Carthage. Alright, now that I have a decent sized army, would that be enough to go take on these guys? 
Because that's basically what we're trying to figure out. Okay, let's see. Is there any more army men? Because we want to make sure that we attack Syracuse as quickly as possible and claim it for our own before the Romans somehow expand. Because the Romans are crazy... A crazy... Ah, oh, dang. I would say... I would say mofos, but I don't think I can say that on the internet because it's just bad. But yeah, that's basically what they are. They are big, gigantic expansionists. So we're going to have to be very wary of them. Like seriously, we're going to have to be seriously wary of them. Um, Alright, let's see. Let's see. Would we have enough to fight against them? Let's see. Militia hoplites. This hoplite unit might be the main stabbing point. Can our hoplites deal with that? No, we would definitely get slaughtered. We need some, to balance out this army, we need some... I think I'm going to wait one more turn, get some archers in this unit, and then I'm going to start my uh, campaign against them. So let's see, that is upgrading right now. It needs to know what to upgrade to. A concentrated field in Agoria. Or do we want outskirts? Let's see, what does an outskirts do? What does that do? Is repair cost. Uh, do we want this to become our main repair city? That's the thing. Because we only have six slots. By the way, we only have six slots in total. We don't get many more than that. And dang, look at Carthage, guys. Look at look at Carthage. Oh, man. Ah, this is, this is one reason why I love this map. So I love this map just slightly a bit more than Paradox Games. Just because the in-depth... Oh, kind of makes my mouth drool a little bit. <laughs> I'm not going to deny. It kind of makes my mouth drool a little bit. Okay, but anyways, um, what I'm going to kind of do is we have to kind of make sure that our economy can support our bread limit. Because our bread limit is growth per turn in all provinces. Okay, unit punishments. Okay. We're still outputting more than we're inputting. But I'm afraid next turn that won't be the case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to withhold any kind of expansions this turn to wait until we can get some more like fishmongers. To get eight more food and get eight more like you see over there that's what it's basically saying okay that means we're probably not gonna be able to attack these guys just yet but I have a feeling these guys aren't that strong especially if they're going after my vassal over here I swear these guys aren't gonna be that strong plus over here we can probably just go start raiding them because that's a cool thing about this game is that you can go raid yeah okay enter do we need anything else no enter yeah, and so there's our friends. How like your Rome, how did I know that was an going to happen? Rome or a nice column. So Rome is now at war with us, everyone. How did I not see that one coming? I don't know. Look at that, everyone. So the Romans are now going to be trying to fight us. Great luck. We still are the kings of the sea. I mean, are we the kings of the sea at this point? Uh, it's okay. It's after the second. Teutonic War. Ally attacked. Ah, oh, dang it. You curse it. You curse it. By Why? Oh my I goodness. My Whatever. Yeah. We'll get more attacked. I almost feel like I want this city to die. Okay, yeah. So these guys just brought off those defenders. So that obviously means the army's not. If I were to attack the army right now or the city right now, I might. Research complete, by the way. Might be able to do some things. So agent, agent, expose. I don't really care. If they find my. My stuff, they're not gonna do anything about it. I'm more powerful than they are. Alright, but we did that so that we can start slowly working on our siege elephants. Oh, wait, not not this, this. Because we want to work towards our siege elephants. Which, exotic animal handling, that will help us out so much if we get that. So, anyways, but right now we are dealing with a lot of crises, guys. We are dealing with three different wars that were declared on me. From these guys to. these guys and then there's the Roman Empire okay well the thing about the Roman Empire is as long as we destroy the ships we should be fine the problem is is that I don't think our fleet at this current state in development is strong enough to fight against the Roman Empire it's it's just not in our nature yet like we aren't quite strong enough I'll admit it right now so yeah slums we have a building for slums. Wait, what? <laughs> Where did we get a building? They have a... What? <laughs> that... What? <laughs> I did not know there was a feature in this. Okay. There's apparently a building called slums, everyone. 
completely unaware of this, but uh, right now it seems like I have a feeling that they left the city completely unguarded, so I'm just going to go see how this, holy shoot, there are like three armies here. Yep, never mind, never mind. They did not leave this city unguarded. Retreat, retreat, guys. Yeah, you guys were stupid. You guys might die next turn. Just going to say that now. You guys might die next turn. But yeah, that's a point where you don't attack, but hire mercenaries. We can hire some mercs. No, we can't. We're kind of dirt poor. So what I'm going to do... All right. So we basically got to get a good assessment of the situation. We're at war with three different naval powers, or three different powers in a different sense. Um, right now, public opinion is not the all-time high we want it to be. I'll admit that right now. Oh, uh, let's see. Recruit champion. Yeah, mercenary veteran in an atlas. Okay, yeah. But what we need to start doing is we need to start raising a fleet. And we want to make sure that Carthage, like I said, is the best city around. Okay, so we're going to start raiding mercenary raider. No. Raise a fleet. There we go. So I'm going to start inquiring of... We need good, strong man. We're basically going to build our own gigantic fleet. Because what I want to do is I want to sink these Roman ships as soon as possible. Because if we can do that, we could definitely deal with the rest of these guys. Um, Over here, we have a decent sized army, which I think I'm going to go use to go crush these guys. As one of my first acts. Because we need to make sure that we are completely guarded down here. And you know what? I'm kind of glad these guys declared war on us. Because I'm pretty sure we can take these guys out. We don't need any siege equipment just by the look of this city. So it should be pretty easy. Um, plus, I also don't... Oh, shoot. They have two provinces, really? Oh, shoot. And it's a gigantic city. Okay, so they might be a little bit harder pressed than I thought. So what I might have to do is recruit some more units. But for right now, that's good enough. Let's end the turn. Let's see what happens. Rome, what are you going to do? You're going to move around like crazy people. That's what Rome does, everyone. But Partha, Pontia, Scubii, a Thriskin League, they're still doing their thing. The Thriskins and I are pretty much friends still. We're still bros. Uh, Clemente, all these other guys, all doing different stuff. Those guys are sieging that city. That is not a good sign. Those guys, I don't even know how they got an army. Wait, are those the guys who attack? Okay, there we go. Good job, Nova Carzo. Good job, no Nova Carthage. You guys are extremely lucky people that you guys can somehow fight and then get your city taken over. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> yeah, this is... I can already tell, guys. You can already tell this is going to be a very long campaign. So, let's see. How are we still doing on food grain storages? Food surplus? Because that's... Because that's really what's going to prevent us from doing a lot of different things, guys, is our food grain production. We could probably last in a lot of other areas, but it's the food grain production that's going to kill us. Okay. Anyways, but we need to start making a new army over here. Because we need, let's see, we have one general over there. Wait, where are all my generals? That is a great question. Alright, let's go to general outview. Forces, alright. Princess of Margo. That's Hanel's forces. This is the pride of Margo. The heir of um, Phoenicia. Hannibal. Okay. Jazel? Okay, so yeah, we don't have a force over here. We don't have a general over here. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise forces 